Diverticulosis is a common condition, so let's answer some of the most common questions my patients ask. What is diverticulosis? Diverticulosis is often described as pockets in the colon. It occurs where the lining of the colon, the mucosa, protrudes through weak points in the muscle layers of the colon. In this way, diverticulosis is a type of hernia. Think of a hernia in your groin, where abdominal contents protrude through a weak point in your pelvic muscles. How common is diverticulosis? While it's uncommon when you're under 40, by the time you're 60, about half of patients will have it. Is diverticulosis harmful? Well, diverticula themselves are not harmful. They can even be asymptomatic, and for most patients, they are. Diverticulosis is not associated with cancer, but it can have complications that can be difficult to manage. What are the complications of diverticulosis? There are two big ones, diverticulitis and diverticular bleeds. We'll go into these complications in separate videos, but it's worth clarifying the difference between diverticulosis and diverticulitis because that's a common point of confusion. Diverticulosis is merely the condition of having diverticula. Think of the O sound in the word and think of those pockets. It's simple. It's just that you have diverticula and it is not itself an infection. That's diverticulitis. And there, think of that I sound and think of the infection. So diverticulosis, just the condition. Diverticulitis is the infection. So how common are these complications? About 5 to 15% of patients with diverticulosis will develop diverticulitis or diverticular bleed in their lifetime. And so while that means most patients with diverticulosis will never have a problem, it is such a common condition that diverticular bleeds are the most common cause of bleeding that admits an adult into the hospital. Who is at more risk of having diverticulosis? Men and women have about an equal risk of having diverticulosis. Age is probably the single biggest determinant of whether you will develop diverticulosis, but there's also a strong genetic component. It's estimated to account for about 40%. So if you have family members with diverticulosis, you do have a risk of having the disease yourself. Diverticulosis is more common in developed countries, which is likely reflective of lower amounts of fiber in people's diets. How do you find out if you have diverticulosis? Because it's most commonly asymptomatic, it's found incidentally. It might be that you're having a CT scan for separate reasons, and the radiologist notes that your colon has diverticulosis. Or it may be that you're going for a colonoscopy for colorectal cancer screening, when your gastroenterologist also notes that you have diverticulosis. But in most cases, people find out incidentally. At times, people will have pain in their left lower quadrant as diverticulitis develops, or they may present with a bleed, and this is the first time that they learn that they have the condition. How should diverticulosis be treated? Well, there's really not a specific treatment for it, especially as long as you're asymptomatic. There is thought that increasing fiber in your diet will decrease the risk of diverticula getting bigger and developing more of them over time. And so the main thing that we encourage is that patients increase the amount of fiber in their diet. But can you get rid of diverticula? You really can't, not without removing that segment of colon that's affected. And when people have recurrent bouts of diverticulitis or diverticular bleeds, they may get to the point where they consider having surgery, but generally speaking, you're not gonna have that done. Patients ask if they should avoid any specific foods. Historically, we would advise that you should avoid corn, seeds, and nuts, but that idea has been disproven by very large studies that showed there was no benefit from trying to avoid those foods. So if you've been doing that, you don't necessarily need to. What we would better advise is that you have a diet more rich in fiber coming from fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and that you try to have a diet with less fat and less meat, especially red and processed meats. If you have diverticulosis, look for other videos to get more information about this very common condition and how we manage its complications. Thank you for watching and be safe.